are now seven weeks into the new season. I think this is episode seven of Slime. Se I'm not sure. Six or seven weeks. And it's just been meetings on meetings on meetings and meetings. But at least the recent meetings has been very compelling. The church stuff two episodes ago, that was fantastic with Hinata and the seven luminaries. Rahim got fucked. I'm sorry. But then last episode was Roto Family, the introduction of the Eastern Merchant. Glenda with the fucking Glock? Okay, okay, I can get behind this. I just hope that the Roto Family is not just fodder group, because they're talking mad shit. I hope they're actually competent, and they're just not going to be some kind of like a Clayman group that gets wiped out. Let's begin in today's reaction. Luminous! No, Tensura. No, Rimuru, Rimuru. I, I got excited at the hairstyle there. Never mind.私は新生法王国ルベリオスにおける神の右手。ディソイントグレイト。ディソイントグレイト。オープニング。ないや。さて。どう出てくるかな。オープニング。ウェイ、ウェイ、ウェイフォーイ、ウェイフォーイ、メ
Blowing up in her mouth, bro. You got a sensitive tongue? Hey, yo. No way Captain would have a weak tongue. Fuck. These, these dudes are funny, dude. They're, they're honestly, like the whole friend dynamic that's going on here, it really humanizes them and it, it makes me want to not kill him, man. We could be good for- Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you've never used chopstick, this is probably the most intuitive way to use it, or you're trying to fucking use it as like a fucking like a, like a single fork. Or oh, did you see that? Look at the, look at the juices coming out of the gills in here. Oh my god! So I see they saved the budget by having all the yapping episodes so that all the budget could go into the fucking ramen shop. Animations. I see. I see. Hinata gets it first. I pray, dude. Take the last gyoza. No! Better go to Tempest and get the source, huh? <laughs> Even the bowl is branded after Rimuru, bro. True, the broth actually is like so fatty, bro. The, all the calories are kind of in the soup, but Hinata did drink it all. I don't gain weight. I don't have a sensitive tongue either. Hinata kind of got jokes, man. Hinata funny as fuck. That whole ramen scene. Most people are going to see to me like, what the fuck was that about? But yeah, it was a funny comical moment, but like, it really just like, humanizes them, makes them feel a little bit more relatable, huh? Because before it was like, you know, it, it, they, they seem so distant and scary, new people that attacked us, but now it's just like, they're not so dead, they're not so different, you know? Yeah. Man, imagine... Oh, Goblin Riders. Imagine if we have a train here. Yes, they have a nice road and they can ride stuff. Imagine if we somehow engineered a fucking train to just high-speed rail transport of all goods, man. That would be fucking insane. But, like, a train is a little bit far away from whatever technology we have right now. These are the undead kind of something. Uh, Shion's group. I forget their name though. No littering, no fighting. Cool. Can, I, can I vape? What are kilos? I don't know. Unit of measurement, maybe. Are, are these not the Yomigari? Find. Oh, see? The monsters aren't so bad. They're so kind and reasonable. God damn. That you didn't come here faster? What? Fuck a mental caliber. How about a fucking AI that just solves all your fucking problems on top of that? <laughs> wait, wait, did he just shit out the useless? Wait, wait, what did he say? This Rimuru is a tremendously competent demon lord. Also, I'm being triggered by this fucking table. Anytime I see a bunch of people grouped around the table, it's like more meetings. Yeah? The most useless lords. True, they're very humble. I agree. Is she gonna get on all fours and do a dogeza? That is the most, like, they're both Japanese, and the way to kind of convey your utmost, you know, I don't know, authentic feelings and submit yourself is to just, you know? You're not gonna do that? Hmm. I find it really hard to believe Hinata with Dogaza, knowing her like this, but the fact that I would never think she would do it would make an even greater impact that she would do it, you know? 
Blame Rahim's ball, which was manipulated by the fucking floating geezer luminaries. Hinata no Ijidan wa Yosoku Dori. Kyo no Yuko ni wa Tempest ni Tassiru to Omo. Kono Tedo. Sore yuri mo. Doku o motte Hinata o Massasu shite o kanakute yo katta no desu. So chill! So chill! So chill! Sore yuri mo. Doku o motte Hinata o Massasu shite o kanakute yo katta no desu. Unless Hinata herself is not aware of that she's being used like a pawn there and then the other forces are coming from behind. I could maybe see that. Yes. Fucking use unholy field then. There is a discount fucking Leon Cromwell, that's right. Or is this group gonna fuck everything up? Hmm. Yeah, I can appreciate the horses being really animated, but that's the least they could fucking do if it's not CGI. Who is it? I see, I see. Renard's being used by the fucking geezers. Okay, okay. He's, he, he thinks he's helping, but then he's gonna fuck everything up. I think that's what's gonna happen. Oh, really? Only me alone? If, if not really wrong, because behind the scenes, you know, because like Valentine's, Luminous, Hinata, they kind of all do have more details behind the scenes. マオバレンタイン押しもつした際、四つの命乞いをしながら。マオバレンタインと話はそれで終わりではない。信じられぬ。しかし、平田様は誰よりも熱心なルミナス教の信徒です。人は疑問に思っておる。はっきりさせる方
let them get taken out by Xion's group right now. That would be so fucking good. Yo, let Gobzo take out Renard. Let's go. Oh, Nicholas. The main, the main ship. This is the main dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three battle sages? Are they the three luminaries? Do they have different titles? No, 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 no. Battle sage, different term. It was Renard. It was Renard and the yellow, uh, uh, red haired guy. It, it, it's just basically the people that's doing the, the, the siege right now. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Is that, oh, connection! It's cutting out! Seven days! What? Wait, 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 This is really important. Nicholas, how the fuck is reception gonna come up? This is, uh, it was, I believe, to discover your or. Huh? What'd you say? Please be wary of the seven. Seven days. Seven days? What do you mean, seven days? Seven luminaries. Seven luminary days? What do you mean? Nicholas,他に妨害されたようで、最後に何を？What's that light? We cut off the signal there, right? Did we cut off the the fucking signal there? I think we did, right? If he recognized the signal, the call. Man, what are the odds? The amount of coincidence, the amount of things that's happening that's just like, just by chance. Like Hinata's like call being cut off. Nicholas was about to tell her important things that would have made this, you know, conflict go away. And like, there's so many other things that's just happening that's just making their 1v1 happen. It's like, I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's my man Gobzo! That's the other girl from last episode, part of the Kurunai, right? So Kurunai and Yomi Gami, I forget the name again, but Gobzo, bro. She owns left hand man. Let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> Yeah, they're immortal, I think. Oh, but then back. Poison? What was that? Ah, it just heals like that. Yo, who is this big boy? This is like some guild looking figure in. The this is a Kurenai? Is this Kurenai? Oh. Look how beefy he looks. The one thing that kind of sucks is, yeah, him right here. What's her name? What's this cunny ass goblin, bro? What is this? A fucking gobli? Is her name gobli? Wait, no! This is the one that was in the middle of the road in season two when the fucking the knights were attacking and Shiwon got trampled. What? Uh, that's crazy. That's crazy detail. Strung up so they don't fall asleep. Oh, squat up. We were pretty much winning so hard. Yep. And Gobzo didn't even have to have work, girl. I didn't remember that the goblin was the girl that was being trampled. I'm just reading chat right now. You think I fucking remember that detail? Nah, Stormbless told me. So I was like, oh, nice, nice call. Anyways, Gobzo's going in. <laughs> yes. Gobzo, get the fuck in there. Oh, Gobzo. Glazing Shion. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it, just go in. <laughs> it's, it's like that one fucking Pepe meme where Pepe just like looking down and it's like a shadow of a big titty girl in front of him. He's like, <laughs> No, ma'am! No, ma'am! Which means that she's aware that her cooking is looking fucking scary as fuck, dude, right? If you're gonna say, Would you rather eat my cooking? She's self aware. <laughs> What does that mean? 
that Gobuzo would risk his life. Well, no, he's immortal. But that Gobuzo would rather go to war than fucking eat her food. Kind of just goes to show how scary Shion's food looks. That's not Haruka. No, Haruka is not a fighter. Just wait till you see what our boy Gobta has been doing. And Gobta saved Albus last season, but this is cool to see. Gobzo actually getting a fight scene and like clutching, bro. This is amazing. I thought that he was a joke character and he kind of was for a bit, but like, bro, this is fucking great. And I cried tears for him more than fucking Shion in the second watch of season two. Because I forgot that Gobzo died and Gobta crying was like so impactful to me. Okay, even Sophia would? We weren't really trying to win, but this is too easy. The force animation without CGI is so crisp. Blitzy would be so happy if he watched the anime. Skill issue. A little too late for apologies. That's right. And? So I thought they're Kijins. They they evolved. Are, are, are they technically Oni? Is he not the captain? They're Oni now. Did they evolve? The, the, Kijin, Oji, Oni. When did that happen? After Demon Lord Rimuro. Gotcha. Got it. Thank you, Hinata, for fact checking. So Benny and Soei hype right now. Oh, dude, we need to get a fucking tier list of this, like, a different classes of threats they've been throwing on recently. Any news, I'm sure we'll cover it, right? Did he? <laughs> no, 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 but how could she not believe that when the ball said it? <laughs> I am decently impressed that she owns leadership right now usually she just goes in fucking knucklehead just swinging shit around but she's actually commanding people in a pretty good way right that vert though that 200 foot vert oh <laughs> oh why are you doing this to me i gotta wait another week no post credit scene. All I'm left with is a cliffhanger as we wait another week just to see Hinata versus Shion, bro. Oh, it's fucking... I'm sorry, Hinata versus Rimuru. Hinata versus Shion will be interesting, but god damn. This episode... Probably the best episode so far, right? I mean... I, I think some light novel readers would appreciate some of the other lore being discussed in the previous episode and to say the objective that's better, but in terms of just enjoyment for a monkey like me, I thought that this episode was fucking fantastic. This episode really highlighted the camaraderie between Hinata's group and the way that they are really not bad people, we just happen to be on the wrong side. Enjoying ramen together, the gyoza, Hinata's fucking tongue is not, you know, so it's, it's not, you know, sensitive. I don't gain weight. There were some great moments in today's episode and a lot of callbacks to the earlier episodes of, you know, the roads and the devices that manage the anti-barriers and so much more. It's funny that you get fined if you fuck up one of the devices. And then there's this fucking idiot budget Leon Cromwell just fucking it up. He's so stupid. And, 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 and like, I don't know what I'm more upset about. If he was truly just evil and he was, you know, going along with this, then I'd be like, you know what? At least he has a reason. But this is like, he's just so stupid. And he got gaslit by the seven days or luminaries. It's like, shit. I just fucking feel sorry for this idiot. But because of his actions, we are able to get... Not an all-out war, but a battle against Hinata and Rimuru. So we should be thanking this guy. The luminaries, fucking creepy, just slimy, just geezers as usual. I cannot wait for the day where we humiliate these fucks. But when will that come? I don't know. When when will that ever happen? And then basically we had a little bit of highlights from the other group, Yomageri, I think, Kurenai. You know, the factions underneath the Benimaru and Shion. Seeing Gobzo, bro, standing beside Shion in the battlefield in order to go in and get some kills in. Fucking fantastic. Shion being self-aware of her cooking being trash too. Also, kinda funny. And then 
finally, at the end, Hinata shows up without her CGI horse. And goddamn, the beauty makes her move round two. Hinata versus Rimuru, man. This is gonna be so fucking good. The trailer already kind of teased that some of the new forms that Hinata will be showcasing. But ever since Rimuru fought Hinata back then and then had the all the development of season two, we got like holy resistance. We, we, it's not just holy resistance, but we have so many more things. On top of that, no anti-magic barrier. We should be able to win. But Hinata also has the dragon slaying sword. I don't know if that's going to work in her favor or do something else. My guess on how this will work out, because the fight will happen. And maybe the dragon slaying sword doesn't really happen immediately, but at some point maybe it does. And then what if the sword is intentionally to obviously, like, I, I think it's a bait. And maybe it's going to cause a situation where Hinata is in trouble and Rimuru is able to just gluttony that shit or bilzy bub that shit and save her. And then we'll have a common agreement and be like, oh shit, it's the luminaries that did everything. And then we can eat the ramen, the gyoza, hot spring, and then fun times. That's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.